Hi everyone, uh, I'm Ollie. I'm the technical manager at AgriGem, where um, I deal with all kinds of turf, whether that be turf growers growing large acres of turf, down to lawn care companies and then individuals looking after their own lawns at home. So we're going to talk about the, th the three basic different types of fertiliser. The first being a weed and feed granular product, the second being just standard granular fertiliser and the third being liquid products. Uh, weed food and moss killer is a combined product that has a feeding aspect, it has a weed killing aspect and it will also control moss. This makes it a very useful product for someone that wants to do all three jobs in one application uh, for, for ease of use and for speed. There are two main considerations with a weed feed and moss killer. The first is that it contains iron sulphate and iron sulphate can stain any hard surface so care needs to be taken to sweep up any product that is left on a patio, a pathway or anything similar. The second consideration would be how established and how big the weeds are that you're trying to control. It won't control a very large well-established thistle for example you would need to use a dedicated weed killer for something like that you would want to keep any animals or children off the lawn until it's completely dissolved more from the point of view that they could transfer the iron onto a uh, a patio or even worse your nice cream carpet in the house um, the idea is that you would keep them off until those granules are dissolved this would typically take 24 to 48 hours, but you can speed this process up by watering it for 15, 20 minutes with a sprinkler or a hose pipe. This would control most small, common lawn weeds, such as daisies, dandelions, and things like that. It works very quickly. You will see the moss go black very quickly because of the iron sulfate, and iron sulfate also greens up grass very quickly as well. There is not a liquid version with the three different aspects combined you would need to buy individually and, and you can combine some products together to get a similar effect. The next product we're going to look at are the granular fertilisers. You typically get three different types, a spring summer, an autumn winter and then a preceding fertiliser. On all of these you'll see that they have three numbers. Uh, for example, the, the preceding fertiliser here has got 696. That means that it's 6% nitrogen, 9% phosphorus and 6% potassium. Typically, a spring fertiliser would contain more nitrogen. At that time of year, the grass is going to be growing very vigorously and is going to be using a lot of nitrogen to grow, so you need to feed that to it. Adversely, in the autumn, you want to apply more phosphorus and potassium to help root production and to put the grass to bed for the winter. A preceding fertiliser obviously has the extra phosphorus in it to boost root production at the time of germination. The main advantage of a granular product is the simplicity, yet the fact you can be so precise with one. You've got a very easy application and you know exactly how much nutrient you've applied to a given area. Um, it's also very cost effective you uh, find that typically granular products like these are less expensive than a lot of the combined products. The main consideration is that you are going to need to apply a granular product such as this more often than you would necessarily a controlled release product. Typically you would apply something like the spring, uh, spring summer fertilizer every four to six weeks through the growing period. The other aspect you need to look at is weed control. For this, then you'd need to use a dedicated weed killer, uh, typically a liquid product that you would either buy ready to use or one that you dilute down and spray on yourself. The next product we'll look at is the um, granular slow release products. These are often combined with trace elements, micronutrients and things like that. And they will gradually release their nutrient over a time frame of 12 to 16 weeks. The major benefit is that you will obviously be applying those extra trace elements and micronutrients but also you've got that nice slow release pattern where the lawn is fed gently over that period of time it doesn't have a big initial hit of nutrient that then slowly fades away it's a consistent feed the final range of products we'll look at are the liquid fertilizers these are typically water dissolved products 
that you would apply with a pressure sprayer or a knapsack sprayer and you would spray them onto the onto the lawn where they are absorbed by the leaf and are taken up very very quickly. The main one is that they are completely water soluble so dissolve very easily in water um, they're very fast acting, uh, they're taken in by the leaf of the plant so they don't have to dissolve into the soil and then be taken up by the root like a granular. Um, and they can also be mixed with other products as well. For example, we've got the sword booster here that can very easily be mixed with, with a liquid fertiliser. The first consideration would be that you need to follow the product label. Um, it will have a, a dilution rate on there that needs to be adhered to and also the amount you apply per given square metre needs to be followed by as well. Liquid products are traditionally used by people that are very keen on lawn care and are, are looking to spoon feed the lawn and look after it in a very intensive fashion. They need to be reapplied every four to six weeks at, at, at maximum and, and so it takes a lot of work and a lot of time to keep applying these products. After applying a liquid fertiliser you do not want to irrigate the lawn or, or put a sprinkler on it or allow rain to fall within sort of six to eight hours. This is to allow the product to be absorbed into the leaf and be taken into the plant before it gets washed off.